So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something I haven't done for a long time, but I'm super excited for it. I am doing a review on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I got a color in Soft Beige. They have a range of colors if you go online. However, I bought mine in store, so I pretty much got like the color that I thought was medium, but I feel like this is a little bit too light for me, but it worked out, as you can tell. So I just want to go over everything and I will check in with you guys maybe for like the next four hours because I feel like if you're going to wear your foundation, you'll probably wear it for like, some people wear it all day. I never wear it all day. I could see how that works out, but I work out and stuff. So I'm just going to do like four or five hours and see how it wears and tears and let you guys know all the pros and cons and if I would repurchase it. Now this did retail for, I believe it's $6.49. I bought it for $6.99, which still is not bad. Let's just go over everything that it claims to be and then I will tell you the pros and then I will tell you the cons. So basically, I got soft beige, like I said, there's a range of different colors. Um, I probably would have went with something a little bit more medium, just because in the summer I can wear it in I feel like this is just a tad bit light, but I don't have a complaint about the color. I actually really like it. So, your skin only better. Our new high-performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under several different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless, uh, oops, flawless camera-ready makeup every time. Specially made with matte light diffusing complex to give your skin a hashtag no filter perfection. I mean, breakthrough formula. Featuring light adjusting complex helps prevent white cast in photos tested under several light conditions with and without the use of flash that it wouldn't show the white cast that some people get in their photos. So I put it on. So I guess I can go over the cons first and then at the end I will let you know if I like it, if I will repurchase it. So the cons, the cons about it were when I was putting it on, it was a little bit hard to put on the skin. It wasn't as easy as it is for me to use other foundations. Other foundations usually like will glide into the skin and set. This one took a little bit a little bit longer to set. Like I felt like I still had to keep like massaging it into my skin. However, that's one thing you would definitely need with this is setting formula to set everything. So I did set mine with banana powder. Another con about it, like I said, just putting it on it felt a little weird also I do feel like if I rubbed my face it would come off let me grab my mirror mm. yeah like it it doesn't really stay on the skin it 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 doesn't set well so I feel like you can actually like glide it off um I honestly I think that's the only complaint now all the pros that's all I have to say about it bad wise like i don't think it has that many bad things i do feel pros now that it is a really good price and for what you're getting definitely i would pick it so like if you wanted to film youtube videos i definitely recommend it because look it looks really good on camera i also took a picture with it and it came out really nice on the picture as well no filter or anything i literally just took it in front of my um my window right here and it came out really nice so we will see how long lasting this is I personally like it I would definitely buy it again for $6.99 a lot of people use foundations just to film videos just to go a place here and there to do their makeup so I definitely 100% percent recommend it and I think everybody should try it out for themselves like I said it has some pros and cons but overall for the price you can't beat it to do a close-up for you guys so, yes now I will check back in in a couple of hours and we will see how it is wearing and I will see you guys in a bit 329 and I did my makeup around one o'clock, so it's been two and a half hours. I actually really, really like this. 
it pictures so nicely. I was taking some pictures on my Instagram and I don't know. I just like it. It finally did settle in. But I really like it. It looks so nice. Like now it like is like nice and settled in. It just looks like kind of natural, but I don't know. I really like this foundation. Good in person. Like it looks good on camera. It pictures nicely. It's settling into the skin really nice. Um, I haven't really had to worry about any of it coming off, even though I did touch my face. Um, and I'm about to eat breakfast. I mean breakfast, lunch slash dinner. So I will check back in with you guys in a couple of more hours and let you know some more thoughts on it and how I'm liking it. But so far, I absolutely love it for my final thoughts it is 5 58 p.m it's about to be six so final thoughts it did get a little bit oily around this area but nothing major i love this i love it i love it i love it definitely recommend 10 out of 10 for me at least um and i can't wear it all day because i'm about to go work out and i I don't like wearing makeup when I work out, so I'm actually just gonna wash this portion of my face off, and I'm gonna be filming that as well to put in a vlog. So, final thoughts, 10 out of 10, go and try it. It is only $7, and I know a lot of you guys are on here film and want this type of finish, so try it out and let me know your thoughts down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see, I mean, I can't go out and shop right now, because we're quarantined, of course. But if there's a different type of foundation I can get my hands on it, let me know because the Walmarts and Targets are open so I can just like snag something. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.